Apple Freeform was released at WWDC as a future app Apple were going to release, and it's a pretty big update for collaboration. Today, I wanted to explore the already existing market that Freeform will enter as they release their application, exploring some of the applications that have been doing so well for so long, and also explore some of the rising stars and where I personally think Apple should go with the Freeform application. So if you're new here, please do hit subscribe. It'd be amazing to have you here in this community. And if you're interested in some of the courses we launched more recently about productivity, I'll link them in the description below. My name's Francesco and welcome to Keep Productive. So Apple Freeform, it's been quite exciting as a release. If you wanted a full rundown of everything you need to know about it, we've done a video on that that you can find the link in description. This is more looking at some of the other applications that have been around for some time that are really making um, this whole space, this whole collaborative whiteboarding experience a lot more interesting. So for many, this space is fairly new. It is actually quite old now, um, between 10 to 15 years old that most of the uh, you know competitors or tools have been available for. And a lot of them have been available on things like iPad, but also available on your sort of desktop devices as well. And they have been gaining a lot of attention in the last two years. It's very much like what happened with the pandemic is that collaboration in teams became very difficult. And some people, whilst, you know, obviously getting very popular on things like Zoom and Microsoft Teams and Google Meet, they actually took needed that step further for collaboration and discovered these whiteboarding tools. So let me talk about some of the tools that are already out there. The first one is Miro. It's pretty widely known as one of the better collaboration experiences for digital whiteboarding. And it has been around for over 10 years, I believe now. But Miro presents itself with great team tool functionality and a great way to collaborate in real time with some more advanced features tucked in their pricing plans. There's also a pretty well-known one out there, and it's Microsoft Whiteboard. Microsoft actually only added this a few years ago now, but Microsoft Whiteboard is very similar to Miro in a way, in allowing you to collaborate in real time with people that you're working with. And obviously you get that added benefit of if you're a 365 user, having that all in one place. There are a couple of other alternatives that do some things slightly differently. We've reviewed here on the channel an app called um, Everything Explained, and it's basically an app that um, you can do all this on, however you have more sort of presentation-like functions. A lot of these applications do a similar thing, but have a slight twist on them to give them a unique selling point, obviously. But Everything Explained is another whiteboarding application and it's much easier for recording presentations and it's much more popular in the education and um, the sort of uh, that sort of sector in teaching. Now, there are other ones that are quite interesting as well, like Figma have created their own one called Fig Jam, which I actually didn't know much about it until I checked it out in the comments. And these applications are really a good example of what Freeform will be coming up against. Freeform will likely come out as an extension to either Apple Notes or FaceTime. It's quite hard in how they're gonna sort of pitch this and put this together, but it will allow people to sort of extend that experience, whether that's on your notes to start a call in a meeting or to actually have the meeting extend into notes. Uh, they haven't really given clarity on how and which way they'll go. I likely think that it will probably be from FaceTime into that, um, but they are pushing this sort of more business aspect uh, to Apple. But I think a lot of people are much more interested in whether Freeform becomes a standalone application. I think a lot of people love the fact that Apple Notes has been developed on so much more in the last few years but having an experience like this existing inside of Apple Notes would be something that a lot of people would love. And we've seen more recently with the popularity and rise of apps like Muse, which have grown really rapid. And Muse have actually 
become so popular or so, well, they've been growing so much that they've released a second version, allowing you to manage boards, collect snippets, and sort of do it all together on your iPad. So there is this like set market of now iPad collaboration digital tools that are even for personal use. So I think Apple will probably release this as an extension to FaceTime as a collaboration function. I don't know whether it will be its own app. It's difficult to say, but they definitely should have a look at this whole personal function. Where it sits in the whole market is a difficult conversation because the uptake in actually people using these sort of default applications for collaborative work is very difficult. Um, there's rarely companies that are going to be running their systems completely off of what Apple have in terms of their technology. It tends to be teams that are maybe like much smaller, much more design orientated or starting out ideas versus fully fledged stuff just because they don't have as much of the traditional infrastructure like Microsoft do or Google do when setting up workspaces and obviously a lot of time people's FaceTimes and things like that are connected to people's personal accounts. They're not necessarily work driven or work led. So I think this will very much be a tool that will be great for collaboration and thinking about ideas as startups in terms of when you're creating an idea in a business with a friend. But I don't know how much it will be a competitor to the Teams market like Microsoft whiteboarding and Miro and everything else like that. But I definitely think Apple should probably realize that and maybe go down the let's enhance Apple notes and have Freeform as a subsidiary experience of that versus forcing people, you can use it with FaceTime, but not having that as the main lead. That's where I would take it. And I'd be interesting to hear what everyone else thinks on this in particular. But a big thank you, folks. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about whether Freeform will be competing in the market. I love to read the comments and I, I love reading the comments on the last video, especially those talking about the sort of iCloud take up and things like that was quite interesting. But a big thank you and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Cheerio.